Good day. This is a solutions-based security analysis. How to stop the Israel-Gaza crisis and how to resolve it. Okay? So the main thing to do for the international community is to send in a rapid response international peacekeeping force that will stop the conflict to do it 24 to 48 hours. Okay? It will stop either side. There may be a couple of little scrimmages, but by and large it will stop it. That's what we need to do, because we can't have a Christmas coming up and have that going on at the same time. Do you know what I mean? Okay? So that's the way to do it. Now people are going to say, ah, oh, no, because U USA, France or UK with their power of veto would stop it. But listen to this. By adopting A slash R E S slash 377A on November 3rd, 1950, over two thirds of UN member states declared that according to the UN Charter, the permanent members cannot and should not prevent the General Assembly from taking any and all action necessary to restore international peace and security in cases where the Security Council has failed to exercise its primary responsibility for maintaining peace. Okay, it's been invoked 11 times since then. So the power of veto is not maximal. Okay, now what we need to do is stop this conflict. As soon as it's been stopped, we be begin the process in the UN of resolving it. Now that's going to be looking at the past, okay, from the Zionist movement and the Balfour Four Declaration to the war to the giving out of more land to Jewish people than Palestinian people, to the, to the, to the borders were established then, to the 1967, and so on and so forth. And it will look at the whole thing, including October the 7th, and numbers killed by Hamas or by Israeli friendly fire, and the precedent for the October the 7th, what caused it. But the main thing is we have to stop the slaughter now. And that is the way to do it. Not calling for a ceasefire. That hasn't done it. We need to send troops, boots on the ground. And the international community will be willing to do it because the international community, unlike the USA, with its empty words, do not back Israel's slaughter. They do not believe their narrative. Okay? So they will have a chance to use words in the UN to talk about it. And the other side will have a chance to talk as well. Hamas. And the Palestinian people will have a chance to put their side of the argument. But we need to stop the killing first. And that, my friends, is the solution. That is the way to go about it. And we can do it with international law as it stands, without even needing to make any changes. Just do it. Let's be able to celebrate Christmas with a clean conscience, because we can't do it any other way. Thank you.